Our theater guru, Joey Landwehr. Good to see you, Joey. How are you? There's always so much amazing talent in San Diego, and mm -hmm. it just is is highlighted with our theater scene. So first, we're going to talk about a good classic, if if you have some high school students, because I know this is kind of required reading, The Crucible. Absolutely. It is required reading uh, all <laughs> over the, the country. Um, it's 13 and plus, though, because it's sort of an edgy, edgy yeah, work. so your high school students. Um, high school students go to see it. This is at San Diego Junior Theater in Balboa Park. It's through November 18th. And it uh, takes place in Salem, Massachusetts. It's a, it's a blaze with accusations of witchcraft after a group of girls are found dancing in the woods. And the spark of vengeance ignites a raging fire of bigotry and paranoia to consume the entire community. So it really examines the idea of why there are dangers that result when people believe they possess absolute truth. Uh, and so it's a very poignant piece uh, written by uh, Arthur Miller, who is one of the greatest playwrights of our time. Yes. Death of a Salesman, A View from the Bridge. Oh, yes. The, the kids at Junior Theater do great work. I loved the book in high school, so this is a great one if you have high school students. And check that out this weekend. And then Absolutely. Beautiful City, This Beautiful City, what's that? Yeah, so this is a, it's a new musical. Uh, it's called This Beautiful City. It's over at Diversionary Theater in University Heights. It's now through December 9th. And it's created from actual interviews of citizens in Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs is the capital of the evangelical movement. So it's this timely musical that explores faith and the organized resistance against gay rights. It, it was this, the scandal that rocked the religious right. And so it illuminates that cross-section between what is the church and state and how they work together. And the music is incredible because Michael Friedman, he wrote, uh, there's a, not a well-known musical, but it's called Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson, which is fantastic. And it's, it's really good to see his work. He's not with us anymore, so we get to still uh, have them out in the world. No, he cool. really likes the political theater. He does. Um, <laughs> and so a Charles Dickens uh, a favorite, the last one he did, mm -hmm. The Mystery of Edwin Drood. Yes, so this is the very first and only, as I understand it, uh, solve-it-yourself murder mystery theater piece. Ah, it's the coolest thing. Like so create it, your own ending? It is. <laughs> it is. Uh, so it's at Onstage Playhouse down in Chula Vista, and it's now through December 8th. Uh, the Mystery of Edmund Drood is Charles Dickens', and Charles Dickens final novel, uh, but there's just one problem. He died before he completed it. So, as a result, the readers never know the true fate of the main character. So the actor or the audience that comes to see the shows, they get to vote at the end of who's going to be the killer, who's the detective, and who is the love interest in the entire show. How cool! It is really cool. And you know who wrote it was, you, you won't, might, might recognize his name, but you recognize his famous song, was Rupert Holmes. He wrote the Pina Colada song. Oh, of course. Right? <laughs> if you like Pina Coladas. Colada, getting caught in the rain, that's right. <laughs> we all know that. That's yeah. cool. And the next one, a little a special place in my heart, Waitress. And that's because two young local oh God, girls adorable. are taking part in this. And they actually came to visit us. I got to interview. There they are. So cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> they're them to the left and sing them to the right. You walk in a circle, kind of nice and tight. Then you twist around, twist around with all of your might. Shake your loving arms way out in space. Then you bump, bump, bump. From the mouth of babes, working know. their hips. So that <laughs> Sloan and Kensley, and they Excited. were fantastic. So they're taking part in Waitress, which yes. you can see. Soon. It's, it starts on December 27th. It runs through, De uh, I'm sorry, November 27th, runs through December 2nd. It's at Broadway San Diego at the Civic Theater downtown. This is the national tour. Uh, it's inspired by Adrian Shelley's uh, beloved film, Waitress, which tells the story of Jenna, who's a waitress and she's a pie maker and she's trying to find her way in the world. Uh, and she meets uh, these wonderful waitresses that sort of tell their own recipes and help her through it. Uh, and all throughout uh, while she's uh, dealing with having a baby. Um, so she has to summon the courage to rebuild her life. It was written by Sarah Bareilles, which I think oh, we all know. one of my favorite Her singers. first musical. She, I think she should have won a Tony for it. But, you know, who am I? <laughs> uh, it was an all-female musical. Every person that wrote and created this show was all-female. That's fantastic. Very and I know cool. you got to see some of these younger girls audition. Yeah. How cute. Oh my gosh, it was the most adorable thing in the entire <laughs> world. You, you, little five-year-olds just running around in their little jumpers. And, and no fear, just no. ready to perform. <laughs> and, you know, with yeah. all of this attitude that uh -huh. fills the stage, I, they were so adorable. So you definitely get a chance to uh, see them if you can. So, okay, we had four good ones to see yeah. coming up, starting with The Crucible this weekend. Joey Landwehr our theater guru. What Thank would you we very do without much. you? You plan out our, our <laughs> cultural 